I'm imperfect, and I'll always be imperfect. It's important to take accountability, to do the next right thing. Jim McGreevy announcing today he's officially running for mayor of Jersey City. The former New Jersey governor acknowledges in a campaign video that he's made mistakes but wants a second chance. This comes almost 20 years after their sex scandal forced him to resign. And you likely remember his bombshell press conference where he admitted to an extramarital affair with a male staffer declaring, I am a gay American. Jim McGreevy joins us now. Thank you for coming back. Oh, thank you so much. It's good to be with you. Likewise. And so when you were sitting here last time, you hinted at running for mayor. Now it's official and we got a little taste of your campaign video today where you mentioned being imperfect and you hint at that uh, very famous press conference. So why did you deci decide to revisit that in your campaign launch? Well, Tasha, the first thing I want to say is my daughter's the, the, the star of the video. But mm -hmm. after that, no, I, I think it's important to embrace it. Um, part of, I think, my need is to understand that that has actually made me a better person. So I think the, the typical response would be to push it away, Steve, maybe to deny it. Mm. But it, it changed me. I mean, it, it just made me more compassionate, made me more aware. Uh, working with veterans coming home from combat trauma, uh, people that are suffering addiction or coming home from prison, you have a different outlook. And so I think that helped make me a better person for the past decade. Mm -hmm. I've worked for the New Jersey Reentry Corporation and the responsibilities help people heal their broken lives, the chaos, put them back together. One out of every three veterans in this country now is court involved, the highest degree of mental illness, homelessness, suicide. Mm -hmm. And so it's in working with people, helping them to rebuild their lives. So, God willing, I know something about working inside government and outside government, and that's what I want, would like to bring to Jersey City. Right, so you, and you have deep roots in Jersey City. Your family yeah, goes my, back my, there a long my, time. my grandparents came from Ireland, and mm -hmm. they were immigrants, and they came to this country. And my grandfather was a police officer, and my cousin. Um, and so it's just, Steve, it's, it's coming home. Mm -hmm. And Jersey City's had this great renaissance downtown. Uh, but it's also about affordability. It's also about property taxes. It's as expensive taxes. as Manhattan now. Yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. so, you know, and, and for me, you know, working families, I mean, middle class families, I mean, that you have to keep things affordable. And so having government within, live within its means, but also affordable housing, safe and clean streets, and improving the quality of education. So for me, it's like coming home, to go to your point, Steve, but it's also making sure that it's just not Jersey City for a few, but it's building a sense of community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I guess the question is, why do you think voters should give you a second chance? Well, Natasha, you know, part of it is, is I've been in the executive branch of government, whether as a mayor of Woodbridge for, for 10 years, and I think I did a pretty good job, or, or as governor, and, and part of the responsibility is to make sure that whether it's state aid, aid or, or making government work, I've done that, but it's also not only being inside government, but outside government. I mean, working with people as they're grappling to get an ID, as they're grappling to get job training, as they're trying to secure housing. So I've seen it from both sides, and so I'm really committed to, to making one Jersey City, to making it affordable, uh, to improving the quality of life. I mean, whether it's increased parking, trying to tackle congestion, but also, I think, improve the quality of education. I mean, one of the real challenges in Jersey City is making sure that children at third grade can read at third grade reading levels because mm -hmm. if you can't by the time Natasha get to fourth grade you need more reading for math more mm -hmm. reading for science and so these kids begin to slip away and so it's it's doing the basics well gotcha right. it's an important yeah. job no doubt about it all right thank you thanks and thanks so much it's good to be with you thanks all for right. coming back every 20 years <laughs> you got two years until the election right exactly not, it's not 24 all right all right thanks Steve yep all right well